Did you know that New Mexico has been inhabited by indigenous people for over 2,500 years, with standing structures still inhabited for over a thousand years? It is also the oldest wine producing region in the United States by over 200 years, thanks to Franciscan Garcia de Zuniga and Antonio de Artiega, two monks who smuggled vines out of Spain and planted them along the Rio Grande. Okay, New Mexico, you had me at wine. And yet, despite New Mexico's rich cultural legacy and grape-laden vineyards, people just aren't moving there. Though they did have a net migration increase of just 1,389 people this past year, that amounts to only 0.065% of its population. And that doesn't factor in the overall net loss of people due to the death rate outpacing the birth rate. To put it in perspective, Florida had a net migration gain of 318,885. Even when adjusted for population by percentage, Florida gained 29 times as many people. What's going on, New Mexico? You have wine! It's hard to quantify why people aren't moving to a certain place, since we have to rely on anecdotal evidence, but luckily there is plenty of it that has been compiled. This video will show the top 10 reasons, in no particular order, as to why locally produced wine and native history aren't enough to draw in the crowds. Stay tuned until the end where we'll share reasons why 5,000 people did move to New Mexico this past year. Number 10 is probably the most obvious deterrent for new residents, which is its crime rate. The crime rate in New Mexico is more than double the national average. In Gallup, New Mexico, you have a 1 in 23 chance of being a victim of a property crime and a 1 in 58 chance of being the victim of a violent crime. Compare that with New York City, where you only have a 1 in 192 chance of being the victim of a violent crime. Only 31% of New Mexicans report feeling safe in their state. That's not exactly good advertising when it comes to finding a state to relocate to. All is not lost for New Mexico, though. Over the past few years, New Mexico has seen a significant decline in violent crime. So, as people make the mass exodus out of New York and California, maybe they will seek greener, or maybe turquoise, pastures in New Mexico. Number 9 on this list that is a major factor when making a move is job opportunity. New Mexico's unemployment rate has historically been higher than average, but this is changing dramatically and for the better. New Mexico's unemployment is at a 20-year low of 3.5%, which is right on par with the national average, but it is still only the 27th best when compared to other states. Although this isn't that bad of a statistic, unemployment isn't the only factor to consider when it comes to job opportunities. Unemployment rates show how current residents fare when navigating their own job market, but most people moving into this state would likely already have a job lined up. The problem is that there just aren't that many jobs to be offered. New Mexico lacks job diversity, with almost all jobs being in three primary sectors – customer service, industry, and agriculture. Poverty makes the list at number 8. The median household income in New Mexico is $54,020, which is significantly lower than the national average of $70,784. Whereas the per capita income for New Mexico is only $29,624. The state may have lush vineyards, but that doesn't matter if you can't afford to buy any of that wine. New Mexico has a generational relationship to poverty with a poverty rate of 19.1%, well above the national average of 13.4%. Sadly, there is a huge disparity between poverty rates among native and non-native peoples of New Mexico. The average indigenous child in New Mexico lives in poverty at a rate of 40% compared to only 25% of non-native children. Number 7 is drugs and alcohol. All wine jokes aside, New Mexico has a substance abuse crisis, often tethered to poverty rates in the state. Drugs and alcohol are a leading cause of death in New Mexico. The state also has the highest alcohol-related death rate in the nation, with this number sadly being on the rise. Across all ethnic and racial demographics, New Mexicans are significantly more likely to die of a drug or alcohol-related death than in any other state. Even more sobering is the fact that New Mexican teens use drugs at one of the highest rates in the nation, with one in four high school students admitting to using marijuana in the last 30 days at the time of a 2016 survey. 
According to real estate polls, this is one reason why people are hesitant to move to the land of enchantment. Number six is more of a factor for people with kids or those who want to start a family, and that's education. New Mexico ranks as the 51st worst school system in America, including DC. The state also has one of the lowest high school graduation rates at only 86.5%. Only 30% of New Mexicans have a bachelor's degree. On the plus side, New Mexico has had a robust program since 1996 that offers free tuition to any New Mexican who graduates high school and enrolls full-time in college. This would certainly alleviate the stress of paying off student loans until you're 85 years old. The lottery scholarship is funded by the sale of lottery tickets, so it doesn't cost the taxpayer anything. In 2019, New Mexico introduced the Opportunity Scholarship, which was solidified in 2022. New Mexico became the first state to offer free college tuition for all residents, regardless of income, who attend a New Mexico public college. So while the education statistics may be a turnoff now, this new program could turn things around. Number five is a debatable one and based purely on personal preference, and that's the climate and landscape. The state's nickname is the Land of Enchantment, and New Mexico arguably has some of the most beautiful and diverse landscapes in the country with its mountains and red rocks to its white sands. It has endless stretches of lush vineyards with a backdrop of mountains. Unfortunately, the vast majority of New Mexico's cities are in a semi-desert, bland, vast nothingness. The drive from Albuquerque and Santa Fe is a monotonous stretch of rugged desert. To some, particularly those from the lush northeast, this can feel magical. Unfortunately, not enough for them to move there. The climate has a dry, temperate summer, but winters see average lows below zero for most of the winter. Despite having 280 sunny days a year, New Mexico doesn't have the sunny day vacation reputation like its next door neighbor Arizona, which attracts far more people each year than New Mexico. Many people love its rugged and diverse landscape, and some surveys cite that as a reason why people do want to move there, but ultimately, the numbers don't lie. New Mexico just can't attract that many new residents. Number four is access to travel. New Mexico is the fifth largest state and is sparsely populated. Getting anywhere takes time. Albuquerque International Sunport, the main airport, serves less than 25 destinations nationwide, which means if you moved from out of state, getting home will likely require a layover. Although the airport has the word international in its title, there are currently no commercial international flights in or out of New Mexico. Aside from Albuquerque, there are only small regional airports, which makes flight prices skyrocket and limits which airlines you can fly. Even flying into Santa Fe will be more expensive than Albuquerque. If you are moving from another rural state, this may not bother you, but if you are coming from the vicinity of any major city, you will know how spoiled you are to be able to travel with ease. Number three is weather. I know what you're thinking. Didn't you already mention the climate as reason number five? Yes, yes we did. This isn't an oversight. The climate and landscape were limited to an overview of New Mexico throughout the year. The weather, however, is worth its own category. Flash floods, monsoon season, and even haboobs, yes, haboobs, are just a few of the extreme weather phenomenons that happen in New Mexico. Flooding can occur in any month of the year, but are particularly common in May and June. New Mexico also has a monsoon season. If you are thinking of a storm that affects the Indian Ocean and pummels the shores of India and Sri Lanka, then think again. New Mexico's monsoon season lasts from June to September, soaking the dry landscapes with water, leading to flash floods. This means New Mexicans pay almost twice the national average for homeowners insurance. Don't think we forgot about the haboobs. A haboob is a dust storm so severe that it has its own name. New Mexico being a semi-arid desert experiences these regularly, which can wreak havoc on your home and even your allergies. Number two is health and access to healthcare. New Mexico ranks 40th in the country for overall health. It also has the fourth highest suicide rate with substance abuse and isolation ranking as two reasons for this sobering statistic. Once again, health concerns disproportionately affect indigenous communities. New Mexico also ranks 38th in access to healthcare and 37th in life expectancy. The life expectancy is 78 years, just below the national average, but this comes in at a 4.3 year lower life expectancy than the number one state of Hawaii. 
Some positives in this category are that New Mexico lowered its food insecurity by 36% over the last few years, which increases health in the population. They also have a higher than average number of healthcare providers. So if you are planning, or not planning, on moving to New Mexico, be sure to come healthy. And number one, poor infrastructure. New Mexico ranks 48th in clean air and drinking water, with most of that being attributed to water. Due to inadequate state and local funding, 56% of major roads and highways in New Mexico are in poor or mediocre condition. 5% of New Mexico's bridges are rated in poor or structurally deficient condition. Additional car maintenance charges of over $900 per person is a result of badly paved roads and crumbling infrastructure. New Mexico does take the number one ranking in one very less than desirable category. Stand aside I-95, move over Mass Pike. The section of I-25 that runs through New Mexico is ranked as the number one worst road to drive in under otherwise clear conditions. Congrats, New Mexico. You finally came in at number one. Despite all this, over 5,000 people moved to New Mexico in the past year. Granted, that was offset by the 4,000 people that left, but who's counting? What draws people to New Mexico? It sees a lot of tourism each year, but what would entice people to make the stay permanent? The number one reason given is its natural beauty. It deserves to have the word enchantment in its nickname. Another reason is its food, arts, and culture. New Mexico has a thriving arts scene, a long tradition of local cuisine, a 2,000-year-old history of indigenous culture, and dare I say it again, vineyards. New Mexico also boasts some of the cleanest air, best stargazing, recreational activities, and of course, the International Balloon Festival, where you can see over 500 hot air balloons. Whether you move here or stay put, at the very least, come visit New Mexico. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments below what you love or hate about living in New Mexico. And if you moved out of state recently, tell us where you went.